So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go to edu.bunsey.com. From there, you're going to go to log in, and you will log in as a student. Here is where you should put in the information that your teacher has given you already. And then when you put it in, press log in. Once you are logged in, you will be taken to a screen that looks like this. So we are going to be working on the Mega City project, so that's probably the only thing you will see. Just click on that. And then you just press, let's do this to get started. You can go through the tips if you want, but I'll give you some basic overview right now. So the first thing you want to do is go ahead and name your project right here, whatever it's called. And then you can just choose from these options here. You might want to start with adding a background. You can choose from any of the Buncee backgrounds that they already have. If some of these fit your theme, that's great. You can search out a theme here also, but maybe that's too busy for you and you just want to pick a solid color for your background. So that's what I'm going to do for this example. So I'm going to go with that color right there. When I'm done with that, I can just go ahead and click on that button there to minimize that drop down. I can add in any photos or PDFs that I want. The easiest way to do this is just do a Google search right here and say my theme today is Italy. Okay, so maybe I'll go ahead and add in a little map. So you just drag that in just like that. I can resize just like that. I can also just turn it just like that. And I can move it anywhere on my canvas that I want. If at some point I add in a picture and I need to delete it, just click on it right there and then press the trash icon to delete it. Okay, so that's enough of my picture. If you already had a picture on your desktop, you can also use the upload button right there. So I've done enough photos. I can add in a video. If you want to find a video in YouTube, you can go ahead and search that out. I'm just going to pull this one in. Again, I can resize it to my liking and move it around anywhere that I need on my screen. Now that I've done those two things, say that I don't have any more time for my project and I need to close this, you can feel safe. All changes are saved, so you don't need to do any saving. You can feel safe that if you go to another website and you come back, the project will still be there for you. So I'm going to just demonstrate that for you really quickly. So when I log back in, you can just go over here to this corner right here and you'll see under drafts, because I had been working on a project, if you click on drafts, you'll see that your project should be there for you. So you just click on it and you can go about editing. So you need to click that edit button so that you can continue working on your project. Okay, so let's continue. From there, the next thing that I'm gonna choose to do is add in some text. You can play around with a bunch of different font options that they have there for you. You can obviously change the size, drag to resize your box, and all of that great stuff. One thing that you might want to know is um, layering. You know, like this, if you want it to go in front of the text, you can go ahead and press show layers. So if I wanted the text right now, it's the first thing, but I could also move it all the way to the bottom. And you can see that it would go behind the picture now. I prefer to have it all the way at the top though. So I'm gonna move it back, close my layers when I'm done, and then I can go back over here. There are some messages and quotes. It just looks really nice, this text. If there's something that fits in with your theme, then go ahead and pull it in. That might help make your Buncee project look wonderful. If not, then don't use it. The other things here, if there's an animation that fits your theme, that might make it fun too. But again, use these sparingly and only if they fit into your project well. I'll show you how they work. If I pull it in, it actually does something. Okay, so those are little animations that you can add in if appropriate. Finally, the last thing you can do is you can add in audio. So if you want to add in a little voiceover, 
to your project, kind of like I'm explaining this project to you right now, you can just record directly within Buncee. So you just hit the record option here. You would press this button here to begin your recording. You need to press allow. And the first time that you do this, you might have to press allow twice. So that's just a little warning. You'll see that I know it's recording because this is counting up. When I'm done, I just press the stop button to stop my recording. And then I press this button to upload it. You just name it and press OK. And then it will upload directly to your Buncee. You can choose a sticker um, if you want, but don't worry about that. Just press got it. And you'll see that right here, this little microphone thing, that is your um, recording that you just made. And you will have to click on it to play the recording. If you want to hear your recording, you'll see that you can't click on it unless you go to preview mode. So when you preview, then you can click on it and play back your recording to make sure it worked right. The final thing that we want to do for these projects is we're going to generate a QR code so that people can scan your project with their phones and kind of go on a tour. So that's under the extra button. You just press QR code when you're all done with your project. It'll generate the QR code for you. You can go ahead and make that a little bit smaller and just move that. When you're done, you just press the done button and I'm going to choose which category I want to put it in. So I'm going to put it in social studies, post this project. And then all you have to do is press done when you're done with that. And then the final thing you guys are going to do is you're going to save and print this thing. So go ahead and save and print it. And then it should open up for you just like this. So then you will go ahead and just print it. And just make sure that your preview, you know, is using the entire page that you're in the right uh, orientation mode. And that should be it.